All right, today's weather share is for 11-7-2017. It's approximately 35 degrees out. Humidity is about 91% in the humidity. And the barometric pressure is 29.97. So as you can see, it is snowing out. I figured today would be a good day to do a weather share for November. Uh, just yesterday it was about 60, it was gorgeous. They were saying it was gonna be tonight in the 40s and during the week you see 30s and upper 20s and it, it, that completely changed today. This came and then now the weather forecast for the rest of the week is saying it's gonna be in the mid to low 20s for the rest of the week and then it's even gonna have uh, some teens uh, a couple days at night during the week as well. And it'll probably go up to the 40s during the day, but once you start seeing teens at night, it's pretty much game over inside the greenhouse. But that's uh, that's what you get for November. So usually we don't even make it this far. And it may warm up again after this. Like we might see in what they call an Indian summer. So we might see weather that goes back up to um, 50s and 60s. But everything that's in the greenhouse, it's too late. That, that, it's always that one frost that kills everything off. So that's unfortunate. If we didn't get that one frost, we would probably easily make it to the end of November, December with the plants. But once you start seeing 16 and low 20s, dog, that's pretty much everything. That's wipes, that wipes everything out, including the leaves on the trees. You can see the leaves on the trees are still on there it's still yellow and you know green even you know didn't drop all its leaves yet so normally uh it, the, the trees will drop all the leaves before you see that them teens but once you see the teens that's it i mean you could see there's tomato plants growing in the snow you see that they're still in the snow guys we got tomato plants in the snow I'll show you my garden really quick I know it's a weather share, but you're probably curious to see, you know, a garden in the snow. Have you ever seen gardening in snow? <laughs> see? There's my, uh, my artichoke right there. And, uh, there's the corn in the back. He didn't even take the corn up yet. <laughs> this guy better get that corn out of there. I don't know what he's waiting for in the back. It's been sitting there a while. You know, you can see all my veggies. Here's my Malbar spinach in the snow. See? Malbar spinach in the snow. And, uh, oh man, this is incredible. I didn't even get in here and get most of the stuff I wanted to get out. You see some pepper plants. The ones in the back are still alive, you know. I'm supposed to get an inch of snow today, so. But yeah, we got tomatoes. Tomatoes in the snow. They're still growing, folks. They're still growing. Amazing, isn't it? I'll just give you a quick look on the inside of the greenhouse. And we'll end this weather share. But yeah, next week is supposed to be... Or uh, this week, actually, but you know, going towards the end of the week. I think Thursday or Friday, we're talking teens. That's it. Once you see teens, that's it. You're done. See the snow on the ground. I'm going to bring in a couple pepper plants today try to salvage whatever I could out of it and in the greenhouse it's cold in here but it doesn't feel quite as cold it says in here it's in the 50s but it's still cold this is way too cold even for, for your peppers to even survive but yeah we got tomato plants we got tomato plants going and Big trees are starting to drop their, their things. But yeah, it's still going. I'm going to bring in whatever I can today and get out of here because that's after pretty much after today, it's done, you know. So, show you in here. Yeah, it's, it's toast, folks. This will all be dead by the end of the week. Maybe I'll give you a quick glimpse of it after the frost. If this, if this actually survived, because I closed up a lot of holes on the bottom, so it's it's not as windy. 
uh, coming in here. So it's really going to have to penetrate the walls to get that frost into here. It could survive it depending on how airtight it is now. So I really tighten things up. But if it doesn't uh, kill anything, I'll bring you out on the aftermath and show you what actually survives the teens. If it li actually survives that. If it survives that, these might go for a lot longer than just um, November. These might even go into December and, and longer. If it doesn't get any colder than that and it stays, you know, semi-warm, we'll be able to, you know, survive it. I mean, right now, with no nothing else... Just a normal temperature in here is almost 50 degrees. So that's really not that bad. I can't see my breath in here, but I can see my breath outside. So, you know, you see the tomato plants are still going. You see my my uh, see my uh, my beans are still going. Incredible, right? This is a weather show. I'm not supposed to be showing you the greenhouse, but I figured I'd show you that anyway. Um, being uh, we got snow outside and. We got our veggies still growing in here. We got tomatoes still hanging on the vine. So no heat in here. I wish I could get some kind of heat in this thing and, and just like lightly heat it. But the, the amount of cost that it would be to do something like that would just be, you know, I would never be able to afford to do that. Way I'd be a lot of money to run uh, heat in this thing because there's virtually in here there's virtually no R value at all. So it just keeps the wind off it, and that's just about it. So, all right. Anyway, thought I'd give you a look. Weather share for November 7th, 2017. Nice and snowy. Getting ready for the holidays, getting ready for Christmas. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.